morning ladies and gentlemen I'm Meaty69 and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna have a look at the Panzer 5 for a German tier 5 premium tank that you can get the in the event for absolutely nothing and it's quite easy to get to be honest it's uh, I've got it on my free-to-play account without spending any money so even though so many people are moaning about the event Everyone gets a free tank. Everyone gets a free tank. It's what more can you want? And to be honest, I know it's only a tier 5. Uh, people with their expectations, they want tier 10s, they want tier 8s, and they want the best uh, possible outcome. When in reality, it, it's very unlikely to happen. However, the Panzer 5 IV, it is in the tech tree. You could buy it in the tech tree. But... Wargaming are giving you it for absolutely nothing. And on top of that, everyone also got a BTSV for for Christmas. So you, you're getting two tanks for absolutely nothing. And you don't even have to play a lot to get this tank. Um, but before I start, I do have to apologise for sound. I'm not recording with my normal microphone. I'm actually recording with my earphones um sat in my office at work i can't be bothered to walk to my car um i've got nothing to do so i thought you know what i'll make a quick video so the panzer 54 otherwise known as the ram panzer and that is because it is so good at ramming that is when you get the opportunity to the, the tank itself is is it's okay i mean it's nothing special the penetration is not great the armor's okay. I mean, the front plate can be pretty strong. Um, if you can wiggle the tank, and then it does become very, very strong, which we will have a look at the armor profile in uh, a short while. So, penetration, 110 damage. It does 160 alpha per shot. Uh, 75 caliber gun, and the rate of fire is 8.43. That gives it a 7.8 second reload. Aim time is okay at 2.18, or actually pretty good uh, and dispersion is okayish not great at 0 0.369 and the doo -doo -doo -doo, where are we gun depression is only four degrees poor poor gun depression on this tank and it does go 55 kilometers per hour even though it doesn't feel like it goes 55 kilometers per hour it's quite a heavy tank so it takes a while to get up to that speed it feels very 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 sluggish indeed so we're going to have a quick look at the armor profile because uh it's not bad actually you can get some bounces as you can see here you, you're not yellow all over i mean the front plate 100 the top plate you can get 147 and obviously the, the higher you go up the lower it, uh, the higher it becomes but then the lower the bottom plate becomes the bottom plate is the, probably the weakest part of the tank and of course at the side of your gun as well you've got the yellow parts they're very easy to pen but if you're wiggling wiggling your turret you've got spaced armor pretty much all around you, you will generate some bounces now it's got the hatch on top uh, the bottom part of the hatch is 95 millimeters and the top part the top the top part is actually pretty uh, pretty weak uh, what am i doing what am i doing um so yeah, it's not strong. I mean, 95 uh, and 37 on top. So you do have to be careful of right. Even though it's only a little bit, your your hatch can be penned. So you want to really even side scraping. You you want to in these bottom tiers, you will generate some bounces because you've got side skirts that are spaced armor. And even though the top is is all yellow and 40 millimeters, but you can get that to if you're side scraping like that i mean 141 millimeters 182 millimeters so you will generate some bounces so that is the best way to play the tank um and maybe face hug but again you got to be careful because your turret right next to your gun that is the easiest part of the tank to pen uh, unless you're coming up against someone that is really good then they will obviously be wiggling their turret and that is the best way i think you should play the tank and uh you will generate some bounces. So let's get into just a couple of battles that I had on my free to play account. So this is actually my second battle in this uh, tank and 
the next battle was actually my very first battle. So we're, you're going to see we're going to come up against a Panzer 54 on the enemy team, and you can just see how strong that upper plate is and how strong the sides are when you are side scraping. And, and that guy is playing it exactly how I've just said you should play. And there's nothing I can do. I mean, he's penned me. The ELC, I think, has penned me. Uh, and I've already lost almost half of my hit points just from two shots. So you only had you only have 700 hit points. I mean, that's not a great deal amount, but it's pretty standard for tier five. So you do need to be very careful um, when you're top tier. Then this is when this tank really does shine. When you're bottom tier against those tier sixes, you, you're not going to bounce an awful lot um, unless you play it the the way uh, I, I, I said to play it. So the ELC, I want to run away from the other guy uh, because I know he can penetrate me and I'm going to struggle to penetrate him. So I really want to deal with this ELC. I went to go for the ram. Unfortunately, if I would have just gone forward a little bit there, um, I could have took him out. So that was a bit risky backing up. I should have just gone forward, um, but we took him out anyway. But all of a sudden, we are a one shot. And this guy, if he rushes us both, to be honest, he would definitely kill us. But he stops there. And just look at that top plate is absolutely just so strong, so strong. And it's not a tank you want to be coming up against in tier four, that's for sure. So we are going to wait. We're going to wait for him to turn around. And he, I see the opportunity to get that shot off. And we're just going to wait. I mean, we're not going to yell. There's only three tanks left alive. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to shoot at the bottom of the uh, train there. But we also have... Uh, another teammate with me and i'm hoping he goes to the left and i go to the right but he's he he's kind of stopped he's kind of stopped and i'm thinking duke like just go um gives me an opportunity to get another shot off and finally my guy does get a shot on and i know i shot this guy first um as soon as you switch to apcr you just see there how weak the upper plate becomes so if people know how to switch to the Pramo, then yes, you will get penned. But against all the newbie players, the, the players that don't like shooting gold, then you will get some bounces, they, uh, unless they obviously shoot gold at you. So, uh, my apologies. So this battle, Copperfield, it's a map that I love in lower tier, and it is a map that you see quite often in lower tier, because there's only a, a few maps to choose from. So. I always love going this side. In mediums, you, you kind of have to go this side. And again, in heavies, you kind of have to go the other side. So we have three mediums. The enemy has three mediums. Um, but at the moment, I'm up here alone. There is a couple of tanks behind me. And I do have two M7s in front. So we get that shot off. Nice shot, bringing him down to a one shot. So the other M7 on his team is uh he's quite low as well so because i've got my team with me and my team to the left they're getting overrun by the heavies i really need to push these guys and we really need to take them out as quick as possible to start helping our players across the map so one more shot there on the m7 and our lego does clear them up and you can see when you're angled at these kind of positions you will get bounces and the m7 decides to run away so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to get a shot and i'm not going to be able to kill him before that the lego takes him out to bring it down to a six on five but there goes our churchill one all their enemy tanks the remaining tanks are pretty much all together so i need to get up here pretty sharpish 50 kilometers an hour i mean when you get to top speed it's not too bad but it's just getting to that top speed and I'm just, I can't get there in time to, to save my team. And before you know it, it is now a four versus five. But finally, I have got round to the side of him. We're going to get a shot on the KV-1 158. We destroy his engine. He's had to use his repair kit. And then we're going to go further up because I know that there's a couple more tanks around this area. And there is the SU-85. So we get one shot into him and he starts turning around so i don't want to be in front of him he's got a good gun and he can deal big damage so i'm going to leave him for a minute and we're going to go for the panzer 4d instead because it's the easiest target to go for uh, there is a bdr there um we do take out the panzer 4d to bring it down to a four versus four and you can just see what i'm trying to do i'm trying to angle myself to try and get bounces from this bdr 
and uh, we've bounced, I mean, we've bounced a hundred, we've bounced one shot so far. Um, so I'm not too worried about the SU-85 at the moment. He's not got a turret. So if I could take this guy out, then it shouldn't be too hard to get around this SU. However, he's in a bad position. He hasn't got the gun depression. I've got the gun elevation, so I can get that shot off, bringing him now down to a one shot. And it is three versus four. Here's our Panzer 4D to help me. Uh, I do miss that shot on him, but now I can poke forward and I am going to get the kill. So two kills, 1700 damage, and it is a three versus three. Um, the BDR is only, what, four HP. The KV-1 is very low hit points, and it's only the Churchill that is pretty much full hit points. So I'm just going to try and wait for the BDR to come around. Is he going to poke forward? Let me get the shot. He's poking, and we do get the kill. Three kills. 1700 damage i don't think we're going to quite get the kv1 not in time and it's now just three against this churchill one he is capping i'm just going to wait for my team i don't want to come out in the open and again you can see the way i'm coming out i'm coming out at an angle i'm not coming out directly looking at this tank and this is how i said you want to play be playing these tanks if you're going to poke out just poke out at an angle and you'll get bounces so that is it guys, 2000 damage and that was my first game in this tank on this account. So enjoy it, it's a free tank, stop moaning about the event. Yes, the event's not the greatest, but you get a couple of tanks for free. Go and enjoy those tanks. I'm Meezy69 and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.